Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will talk about the failure that is associated if we lost a non-volatile storage. We will see different parts and the way we can achieve the failure and recover from it if the non-volatile storage data will be lost. <music> have discussed the failure with only the volatile storage that means if the data is residing in the memory and it is interrupted by the transaction hall due to a logical error the system error or any system crash but what happened if the stable storage that is storing the data is entirely is being halted or there is any fault in this non-volatile storage now the secondary storage or the permanent storage where the data is being storing if it is loss of it that means the disk can be head crash or there can be a copy of data problem that means while the data is being copying from one disk to another there isn't disk crash or the loss of information so how to recover from it that we will discuss today so now till we know that we are ready for the system crash that is in hardware or software error and that will not make an error to our disk crashes but if disk crashes are there the one and only solution is to redundantly store the data that means to store the data in many of the disk magnetic disk hard disk flash drives or any other secondary storages where we can say that we can dump the data now the dumping of the data is absolutely explicitly useful for having the access so that we can refer to the old data value from the database it is not for the database transactions so the database can be transacted from a single disk or a single secondary storage or from which we can fetch it to the main memory but we can dump that to many of this non volatile storage so that if there is a loss of this primary secondary storage then we can look for the data and get back the data result from to this secondary storages where we are dumping this data the basic scheme of dumping an entire database periodically say for a days end or a month end or a weeks end so it is upon the database's need if it is a large database and it is more prone to lose that particular non volatile storage then we may need to dump the data at the days end or in weeks end or a month end that will be decided by the database designer now when we are dumping the data or the entire database into this magnetic disk and the hard disk then we need to repair or maintain this disk properly at any time now we need to recover from the data if there is a failure on this loss of volatile storage and also this non volatile storage now when we are dumping the data into another one there are four rules or four steps that we need to perform we need to all the data that is dumped into this magnetic disk must be the updated value that we can get from the disk next is we are dumping all the records that is maintained in the log for this database the third is all the database contents has been dumped into the new disk and the fourth is the ti dump that means the transaction dump log record must be output to the disk so 1 2 and 4 these three steps are related with each other by maintaining the updation on the data from this database to the log records but the third one which is dumping the database content is entirety of this database that it needs to restore now if we perform this database dumps then we can perform the loss of non volatile storage recovery as a part of this recovery management algorithm now the recovery algorithm that were used by that particular transaction management can have either the non force or this no steal policy applied to it while having copy the data from this database now if a uh, only portion of this database that is being fault or this lost by this any of the repair that say a sector of a disk is being lost so we are losing only a part of the database so now we can restore the database by having 
checked with another non-volatile storage and then get the data back again to this disk. But if the entire disk has been corrupted or there is a system crash, then we must just reuse this disk as a new one and to re-execute the transactions. Now there are also SQL dumps which provides a SQL transaction statement and SQL insertion statements which uses the SQL DDL like creating the table, inserting the value into it. This DDL can be performed into a log and the log can be stored into a database which can be again stored into a non-volatile storage by dumping it. So the SQL dump can re-execute help us to do perform onto this database. Now re-executing this SQL statements will again create the table, insert the same values with not executing again in the SQL just by replacing the dump in the SQL. Now dumping the entire database again, it is costly because of two reasons. First reason is the entire database need to be copied into the new volatile storage that is being the dumping. So entire database will need a much more memory. And the second one is that while performing the checkpoints or the transactions are active, we cannot dump the data. So after the transaction has updated a particular portion on the data, then only we can dump the data into this another portion on the memory. So the CPU cycles are also wasted and CPU cycles are very much expensive as we know. So the two expenses that is costing us is the memory requirement and the CPU cycles that are wasting. So now to remove this problem, we can use the fuzzy dump. Was it in fuzzy dump? The fuzzy dump is just like fuzzy checkpoints, which allow dumping to be done at the time when the transactions are active and the database are actively updated on the transactions. Now the fuzzy dumps are made to a temporary area while the updations are being performed by the transactions. And after the transaction has been performed, now the dump temporary area can be stored into a non-volatile storage to affect that updated result back to the database. Now fuzzy dumps are extremely useful while we are dealing with this larger updates and the transactions with a larger portion of the database. Now in this way, if there is any loss of this non-volatile storage, then on this database failure, then we can recover the data by dumping, fuzzy dumping, or we can say that we are providing the SQL dumping. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.